Right, here we are. We have got ourselves an elder tree with flowering in the elder flowers. Um, elder flowers flower, well, June onwards to July in the British Isles, pretty ubiquitous. Um, it's actually late May, we're on the south coast here, so uh, season's a bit earlier perhaps, but um, they're definitely coming on stream. So we're gonna get ourselves some, uh, some flowers. You can just see them behind me. Uh, not so many here, but there's plenty of bushes around. I don't know whether you can see other bushes around there that uh, absolutely sort of coming into bloom right now. Um, and yeah, let's go pick a few older flowers. So this is the tree, this is what it looks like. Uh, the leaves, are kind of slightly sort of sawtooth edge to them. And this is the flower here that we're looking for. Um, white and sort of pale creamy yellow color. Buds just coming into the, uh, the, the petal, the, coming to bloom there. Um, ideally pick on a sunny day and uh, certainly not when it's wet. And what we do is we just use a knife. I've got this knife here, or actually, I don't need it. I just pinch them off with my hands. Um, just go in underneath here. You just look underneath this sort of umbrella shape. You just pinch off at that junction there. And there you go, that's what you're looking for, those. We'll, we'll do what's called forking off later, which is where, sounds a bit rude, but um, <laughs> we'll pull the petals off and we'll get rid of more of this green stalky bit, which we don't want in our, uh, elderflower cordial but um, that's a great head there and um, what we need is about 25 of those now um, you don't want to take all of them off one bush that's pretty uh, greedy and you've got to leave some behind and they will then form into elderberries and then rejuvenate and feed the birds and stuff so you know take a couple off a bush here and then move on to the next tree and take a couple there until we've got 25 don't take more than you need um, that's the adage amongst foragers so uh, yeah there we go we've got our elderflowers Okay, I'll just show you a plant that looks a little bit like uh, an elderflower. Uh, it's common dogwood and it can be mistaken. This, the leaves are very different. If you look, they're smooth on the edge. Uh, the flower looks similar, but the, the tree is much, or it's, um, it's more of a shrub, uh, a woody shrub than a tree. So um, yeah, don't get confused with these. And again, if you're in any doubt, don't pick anything. Just, you know, leave it for another day or go out with someone that does know exactly what they're doing. Um, but yeah, that's the dogwood. Don't get that confused with the elder. Um, I don't know if it's poisonous or not, but don't think it makes good cordial. All right. Okay, here we are again. Another great example of elder flowers in bloom. Check the leaves again. Yep, look, serrated edges. And they've got this really powerful aroma. The flowers have got this really powerful floral aroma. I'm just gonna smell it. Oh yeah, really reminiscent of, uh, well, elderflower cordial, because that's what it's made from. Um, not to everybody's taste, admittedly, but um, I love it. Anyway, so yeah, let's just pick another couple of umbrellas of the flower. One, two, Ooh, I've got a bit more than I bargained for there, but um, yeah, great, there's plenty around. This is why generally stout shoes and long trousers are useful, because I'm standing in a bunch of uh, brambles and nettles. Um, wearing obviously shorts and sandals, which is kind of what I do. But anyway, where's Molly? There she is. Ah, guarding me as ever. Right, onwards. Okay, uh, we've got another lookalike. Oh, the wind's blowing it about a bit, but let's uh, steady that. Um, this is Gelder Rose or um, European Cranberry, I think. Um, again, can be confused with uh, elderflower, but or an elder tree. Again, more of a sort of woody. Um, bush than, than a tree and if the leaves are very distinctive here you see those um, they're sort of three pointed slightly serrated but yeah very very different leaves and the flowers are sort of much bigger petals on them so again uh, don't get that confused with the elder okay we've just got to get the last few here from the bush one get one more and I think we're done it's small about our 25. So let's go home and make some cordial. What do you reckon, Molly? <laughs>